Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Salt and Zank. Uh, as you may recall, last time I quit after uh, I spent half the episode without audio, and then I uh, got rocked by this guy. And I don't like wearing this gear anyway, so it's coming off. Much better. I know I'm wearing my default stuff, but like I like that. That's the problem with making the default stuff too good in any game, you know? Like, everyone wears the Elite Knight set in, in Dark Souls 1. But, like, the Elite Knight set is something you have to quest for. If you're going to wear the normal Knight stuff, you look like a dork. No joke. Because it's got the open face and you can't, like, shut it. Phoenix Rondaccia. I assume that's a shield. Oh, I didn't know I could put that on. Yep, sure is. <laughs> that's, uh, I don't know if that counts. Huh. Now we come to the problem of, uh-oh. Having to get out of the building. I love my hearty rolls. Krakenhelm. That sounds interesting. Heavy bronze helm worn by one of the bronze knights, mysterious guardians of the island. See, so yeah, I'm, lear I'm learning more about the health mechanics just by playing, and like, it is kind of weird that they disincentivize wearing heavy armor. Because like, the point of heavy armor is far of here, beach, zen. <laughs> weird. The point of heavy armor is that you take attacks. And you have a huge health bar and a lot of armor to soak it up. Oh, right, I can't. Huh. Am I not supposed to get out of here? That would be weird, right? I guess this is where the game is trying to like teach me about like fire defense and fire attack. Because there's all these little flame skulls and there's the magic men upstairs. And then they, god damn you, and then they give you the, the Dragon. And god, when you think about a boss that does fire damage, like, I think m most people would think of like a, like a flame lurker, you know, like a guy who's like made of fire, like a Balrog, perhaps. Terror, Shadow, and Flame, man, that's textbook Balrog. You think about fire damage? It'd be funny if that was like a brand deal. Split manifers. I think those are gloves. Yeah, split swordsman gauntlets. A typical split swordsman is fewer than two arms, but matching left and right blue gauntlets are obtainable. Weird. That's that Zatoichi logic, though, you know? Like, when you see a guy who doesn't have all of his, uh, like, somebody with a disability who's a warrior, are always super cool. It never fails. At least in, like, the comics. Well, this is unfortunate, because I was planning on going somewhere else. But it looks like everything in this castle is making it so I have to go this way. Let's try once more with this side. Right. Granado? I know what that means. It's Spanish for grenade. God. These things are just nuisances. It's 
Start to kind of like do a do a like little timey turn there. Oh yeah, there's this thing, right? So if I heal here, damn, that's cold. I was kind of planning and or hoping that healing there, healing with that health, would like instead make um. How do I put this? It would like make my health. Um, our packages came in. Uh, I know that this is going up on the 27th, I believe. Uh, so I hope everyone had a good Christmas. But for me, this is a little before Christmas. And my wife just got the mail. Something I'm happy with. Uh, those guys got punked. God. See, I was hoping that um, healing yourself with a roll... Well, that's new. Healing yourself with a roll when you're not full would like... Go, go, go. Would boost your health. That's what I was hoping. Did not come to be, though. Oh, that guy's gone. Spooky. I mean, he could have just left, but... Okay. I'm going to get some stuff off of you. Stained page. I'll get some of those just to have them. I'll grab this because it's probably like decent light armor. And then I know that bows are probably going to be better in the long run, but I actually like crossbows more. In a Souls game, I like crossbows more. Um... But yeah, I kind of wanted to, uh, to cleanse my inventory of all the cash that I had. Otherwise, you'll just lose it. I like how there's a lot of, in Hollow Knight, there's a lot of, um... Oops. There's a lot of, like, uh, documentation and, like, just lore and, and notes about... Like, spending money when you have it just to spend it. Because you might die and lose it all, and then you'd feel like a jackass. All right. Let's see what I've got then. Strength, endurance, endurance, dexterity. Where is the next ability to get a poultice? Because that interests me. It's in this little spiral. There's one. Here's another. Okay, so Hunter. I'm not interested in that. Daggers, eh. Dexterity. Daggers. Poultice. Could I actually go this way and then just get raw stat increases? But I might forget that I'm going that way. Um, I'm going to go back to the very original beach that I was at. Just because I want to see what's going on there. Oh, that reminds me. I can dump this ring. I think I had this on. No. No, that's a magic ring. Yeah, I'll keep that. So it looks like the... Um Okay. Normal stuff. Sorry, I'm just remembering my buttons. 
the idea of this game to be a like marine Dark Souls, but like not marine in the sense of like it's all underwater. Because like a lot of people were like, oh man, what if there was a marine Bloodborne and it was just like all underwater stuff? And like, I don't know what it is. And this isn't, don't take this as a slight. But games that are set underwater usually suck. There's just so many problems with setting something underwater. Oh, well, there goes that. Like, you have to have to have a 3D environment now because the whole thing is underwater. And, like, that's how you get stuff like Aquaman Battle for Atlantis. Because, like, setting stuff underwater is usually bad. You'd also just have the whole game be, like, a... Uh, like an underwater Mario level, which is not fun. Okay, so this is a dead end until I get the ability to jump. Yeah, there's probably a double jump coming up. I guess everything's going to be with those brands. Or maybe alternatively, like everything will be a new thing. Like there's going to be a scar, a brand, a tattoo. Bandits Pass. I wonder why it's called that. The bandits use it to pass? Arrows. Oh, it's from the traps. Chain Hauberk. I love a good Hauberk. Reinforced with plates in vital areas. Mail is expensive and time consuming to produce, but provides great protection against slashing. Interesting. You know, I'll rock with it for a little bit. Hmm. What are you? Amethyst hood, skirt, and bodice. Okay, so we've got Stone Merchant. Interesting. I had no idea that this game had co-op. That's really interesting. It changes a lot of the ideas that I had about it. Red Hall of Cages. Boy, is that a name. All right, so this is a dead end. Oh, I burned through a torch finally. Okay, so Red Hall of Cages is a dead end. And that means that Bandit's Pass has a thing that leads to a dead end, and it has a dead end in Bandit's Pass itself over here. And then... Okay, so that's where this goes to. Probably should have just killed that earlier, but don't mind me. Right! You know, someone else said that it was funny to see me get blown up by traps that I had already stepped on over and over again. So I hope that for that guy, this is entertaining. I guess it's just down on the D-pad to put that away. That would probably be quicker. All right, I don't remember where this goes, so I'm going to take it up, but I don't think I'm going to stay there. I'm kind of just exploring this episode. I want to I want to figure out where my dead ends are. Um, and if I have something that is not a dead end, because the Kraken is definitely, like, at the very least, a roadblock, if not a dead end. Archer trap to the left. Didn't, uh, didn't uh, do it this time. Okay, this was that chest. Great. I wonder what the damage calculations are for how much health you lose, like how much permanent health you lose. Trap. Oh yeah, I never... Okay, so that's that leads up to here, which is what I suspected. So, is that all that's up here?
I don't know if that's the case. Okay, red hull cages. How's the audio for this? It's all right. I'm gonna make sure that my audio remains all right. I don't need like fantastic audio quality, but I would like it to work at the very least. But that's on me. I shouldn't be complaining. Okay, so that whole area is done then. I. Wow, okay, hi. No stamina. Good, I'm regenerating. I gotta say, a slow heal in Dark Souls makes a lot more sense. This guy does not have the health to justify his position. Yeah, it looks like every boss is either a complete, like, blow up, or it was, like, easy. I feel like the first few were decently balanced. Okay, Sunken Keep. I've been here before, I think. And the False Jester's Ear, and a Stunned Leader. Oh, and this is... What is this? Jump? Oh, okay. Well, I really hope that um, the salt is upstairs at the very least. That's good. How does it drop gold, by the way? Has it always done that? Because I feel like it's a little silly to drop gold when you kill yourself. Infinite money glitch. Kill yourself and farm your drops. It's actually a, a plot point in Dark Souls 3. People keep dying of the undead curse. Uh, in the undead settlement. And like... They have to find ways to kill people slow, like, and make sure they come back slower. Because otherwise, fun thing ahead. Oh, they meant the jester. Okay. That's fine. But yeah, they have to make sure that they, uh, like, kill somebody in a way that makes them come back slower. Because otherwise the settlement will get overpopulated with all the corpses. Oh, I can go over here now. I had forgotten about this. <laughs> wow. That would mess with your head. I guess because we're like a sailor, the lore is that we've got uh, a better ear for um, a Scarian Scutum. That means a shield. Scutos, I believe, is just shield. I guess since we were a sailor, the lore might be that we have a better head on our shoulders for um, wooden shield designed by the of simple design carried by the legionnaires, the Iscarian army. Light enough to be held in one hand, but sturdy enough to repel blades and projectiles alike. These shields offer an unrivaled degree of protection and versatility to which Iscaria lore, uh, largely owes its multitude of, success of successful military campaigns. Okay, so that means that there are more places that I can go now because of the... Uh, the brand. Where are you guys? Secret left. Secret door. Secret door. Ah. Stone merchant and a pack of salt. Shway. Go right for sanctuary. Alright, this is the one where I was earlier. So let's pop that and I believe it was the right side where I was trying to push for a new thingy yes twas and then I get a new poultice am I gonna am I gonna get my ass kicked for not having good god it's hurting <laughs> okay 
Link of Fire and what the what? Okay, so that's not a prayer. Crystal Sphere. Oh, you can turn a sanctuary into your sanctuary. Then you probably get goodies for that, I guess. It's a ring. So this is wrapped link. I guess like a link of a chain. Fire and sky are powerful elements. Casting one over the other may affect the caster with dangerous elemental imbalances. Because of this danger, acolytes of the elemental magics are given protection in the form of rings like this. Nullifies elemental imbalance. Interesting. So in Neo, uh, another Souls game, you know, not a proper Souls game. It's not made by the guys, but... Oh, can I can I shop here? Right, he just sells that. Never mind then. Um, in Neo, another Souls like, there is uh, any anything in the game, any element can give you a status ailment. And like sometimes it's pretty open and shut and makes a lot of sense. Like fire will give you a damage over time because it's fire. You're on fire and you're burning. It makes sense and it's pretty open and shut. It's simple. Can't get mad at that, you know? But you can get, like, water status effect and earth status effect. And, like, you can get a lot of status effects. And, like, I don't really understand how exactly they work and what exactly they do. Reach feeder. Ugh. I guess those are the xenomorphs. What are you, brother? It's an eyeball with a man sticking out of it. Boy, what a sentence I've said. Okay, well, bye. Yeah, I thought you'd be back. I'm going to go drop off this level and get another thing. Because this is my LP, and I can play as slow as I like. Though I say that with a heavy grain of assault. <laughs> uh, I do like playing games somewhat quickly. Oh my gosh, I'm like four away. All right, let's go lick an enemy. What does this door lead? Just out to here? Yeah. Anyway, so in Neo, there's a um, mechanic wherein you can put those status effects on people. So if you're hitting them with a lightning sword, you'll put the lightning effect on them. And if you hit them with a fire sword, you'll put the fire on them. But if you do one and then switch to the other, or if you have access to powerful magics or that sort of thing. Nice. Um, reach feeder. So, do they feed on reach, or are they reaches, and do they feed? Anyway, once you have two status effects on somebody, because you can build up two status effects of different types on someone, uh, what happens is they get a thing called chaos, which I think chaos is a different status effect. And I think it like inverts your controls or does something really silly like that. But the way that they talk about it here makes it sound as though they're like, maybe they're doing something to prevent people from spamming magic. That might be interesting. Like, if you cast, uh, like, if you just spam a bunch of lightning spells over and over again, you'll, you'll overdo, like, you'll overdo it on lightning. Oh, he protects an enemy. Oh, God, I'm slow. But I'm outside of his zone of looking. That guy is weird. What a cool enemy design, though. Like, what a thing to say. Like, it's a guy with an eye sticking out. It's an eye with a guy sticking out of it. Pardon. Blessed weapon. I understand what that means. Be 
Yeah, I guess he can't be that dangerous, but he has to be around other people. And he can make them dangerous, but that's not what I'm talking about. Sorry, I didn't give that guy a chance to talk. I didn't figure he'd be very conversational. Wow, I'm getting big souls here. Big salt. Stone mage and a red shard. Okay. Well. Okay. I, uh, let him clear. Gotcha. I understand completely. I don't respect it, but I understand. Let's see if I can't sprint past these guys. Oh, hey! The gallows. That is such a cool mechanic. Showing you dudes who die in, in like, your shard. Which, by the way, is the technical name for a Dark Souls server. I don't know if Salt and Sanctuary uses the same thing. They might not have enough people to justify having shards. But yeah, they obviously can't have every single person on one server because the world would be inundated with uh, summon signs and messages and invasions and stuff like that. And it would actually be harder to find... I think it would actually be harder to find... Um, like, uh, places to play. Okay, I know, I, like, understand completely that this is supposed to be a dead end, but I feel as though there's something here that I can get at. Hmm. What was that? Did I step in blood? Gnarly. They've got really low health, but they do have an appreciable amount of damage. I guess that's why such a thing like this would be a problem. Oh, I can look in the bestiary as well. Well, the bestiary. Okay, I've seen that guy. Reach feeder. A vicious minor kraken. Vile bees gravitate towards rock pockets of rotten human filth. Which other forms of sustenance? They eat poop? Gross. Alright. Torture. Kennard you. Caged man. Okay, I found you guys earlier. Armor might. Oh yeah, th that guy was in the dark, so I barely saw him. Ember skull, I recognize those. Water just those guys. False gestures of boss. Split swordsman. I remember you guys. Red Lord. Rulu of the Red Hall of Cages. Red Lords once resembled something more like men, but as their hearts grew sick, so did their bodies. Weird. Heart seeker. Oh, because the heart is what's seeking. Uh huh. Uh huh. I know that my heart is not in my like neck area. I just realized you couldn't see, so I pointed there instead. An abomination of alchemy. The alchemist's aim was to create a love poultice, but he failed. Anyone unlucky enough to imbibe the fatal product would shift to a hideous wretch. Its desire for affection, transforming its tainted heart into an all-encompassing eyeball. Ugh. Grody. Ninety-eight enemies, huh? That's a pretty respectable bestiary. I think the original Final Fantasy has like 200, I want to say. Oh, I don't think I ever went in here, did I? Hager's Cabin. God damn it. Oh, it's all briny and barnacly down here. Hmm. I wonder what all those candles mean. Like, it might be a thing of, like, that's how many people are on the server. Something like that, maybe. Hmm. 
And in case you forgot what we're doing here, I am intentionally going out of my way to backtrack just because I want to make sure that I'm going the right way. I want to have an easier time than I, uh, I want to have it the easiest possible time, I should say. Hmm. Well, damn it. It's a very interesting problem that I'm being healed too much, you know? That the hardy rolls will heal me pretty full, but then they run out. It's still a four hit. What? Did I never get that? Maybe this door only opened recently. Then again, this looks familiar. You're new. Well met, Saltborn. <laughs> I am not like you, born of salt. I'm born of life that flickers like flame. Summoned by the Song of Souls, written, spelled in candlelight, written by the drowning Saltborn. Your world is cold and stifling, so my light is fleeting here. To be salt-born is to be a dying fragment of eternity. To be born of light is to be truly living, yet so ephemeral. So are you, like, a demigod? Weird. Evanescent's cassock. Evanescent. Cleanse. You're not corrupted. Forgive sin. You have no sin. Glow brightly, salt-born. So, in Dark Souls games, to ensure that you can't screw yourself out of a quest line without really trying, uh, or to get cops off your back after you invade and kill a guy, uh, there's usually an NPC known as the Pardoner. And they usually have more complex names than that, like Oswald the Pardoner, or Cromwell, I believe. Oswald of Kareem, I want to say that guy's name is. Um, but the whole thing is that they forgive your sin. And in the context of these games, sin is whenever you invade and kill another player or kill another NPC. Pale charm. Interesting. Now that I know that I can just put these on, increases attack reach. That's cool. So not only do we have ring, like all four ring slots and all of the stats that you can put on, we also have charms that you can put on. Hollow Knight, who? Like, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I don't really prefer the Hollow Knight method of, uh, like, putting stuff on. Charming yourself just does feel like um, a more complex version of a ring. And, like, you could just have those rings in addition to having stats, because other games have. And I know that Hollow Knight is a pretty small production from a very small team, but god, so is this. One thing about Hollow Knight, though, that I uh, cannot disagree with is that this game has a very niche art style. Um, if you don't like grungy Xbox 360 indie games then you won't like this. <laughs> I love when they just stick up straight and they're like doing. I think it's funny. But yeah, um, that's something that is, uh, Hollow Knight is a lot better about just because it's got a cute art style. Granted, some people disagree with the fact that it's a game about bugs. But I happen to like arthropods of all types. It really knows me that bug is a technical term. Hello. Hoy, traveler. Well met. I'm we Fern. I've been hiding out here for some time. Any trinkets? I saw... I lost a small pouch of earth. Shame. 
A war horn and a bundle of salt. So where does this take me? Oh, it takes me here. Lucky me. But yeah, I like bugs. Something that really annoys me, though, is that bug is a technical term, and they're like true bugs and false bugs. And it's just this, this species known as haymaker. The species known as bugs, you know? Oh, and that brings me here. Okay, cool. Haymaker. A tool intended for mowing grass and harvesting crops. Funny, it's a scythe. Distinct, uh, as often modified for fighting by the destitute and wicked. Distinct among agricultural devices as universally recognized symbol of death and indeed with a, uh, a capable makeshift weapon with its razor edge and unmistakably fearsome silhouette. Cool. Wow, it is dark. Yeah, I usually use bug very casually, just to refer to arthropods, because arthropod is three syllables. And, uh, you know, it, in some cases it's more accurate to say insect, but you cannot call a spider an insect because that's just incorrect. And this is where you, that, that one guy was. So I've been through here, I just haven't been in here again because it's a little out of the way. It also means that there should be a bonfire up there. Or salt fire, whatever they're called in this game. Aha! So this should be new. I like it. A great deal. I like it a lot. It's a long run, though. Huh. Should I be... Should I do something? Oh, can I grab that? Totally can. Interesting. This is weird. And I guess I'll fall up here? Yeah. Shell Silverstein. Oh, they do that thing where they go to pieces and then come back. Ooh, and they do a decent amount of damage. It's so interesting that I have to tolerate weird stuff with their, um, with their money. Because their money obeys regular gravity, so their money flies away from me. Thank you. Huh. Oh, God. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's a lot of salt to lose, too. Let's go back and grab that. So we have to go through the village of smiles. I think I opened a shortcut, though, so maybe it won't be as bad. Ooh, it's a bit of a way away. All right, that was like a two-minute walk. Sorry I came in here where it's dark as night. But I assure you, I'm in there. Deep in the inky blackness. So, huh. I wonder if I'm supposed to do a jumping puzzle. A little bit of platforming. Because doing it upside down is, is cool. It makes it a little more interesting. Hold on. I think I've missed my stop. Yes, I did. Whoops, pardon me. Now where's the salt at, G? Thank you. Money falls into the abyss. Alright, let's try this again just to see. Is that like a sprint? Because that would be awesome. So I think one of the only places where I could uh, get a leg up is here.
Okay, cool. So I think I just went the wrong way. You can't turn in the air that good, I'm noticing. It's probably important. Oh boy. No one has any comment on this? You guys are just going to keep attacking me? There's not like... Oh my god, a flying man. You know, my dad always told me that he was like afraid of flying monkeys. Like terrified. I never got that that was a joke. It seems so sincere. What are you? They lay eggs. The eggs, the eggs hatch and they do give birth. What the hell? This is, uh, this is new. I must say. Okay. I think I stopped the birthing procedure before it could go too far. Oh boy, what a sentence, by the way. So it's four when I'm not two-handing. That was a messy fight, pardon me. Drowned idol. What does that do? I feel like his AI is a little busted here. Okay. Oh right, I can just fall. Man, a little trip through gravity, gravity land, and I just completely lose. Uh, <laughs> Ragged Hakama, Silver Udewa. Afraid Sasagawa did that say? Silver Udewa. Ragged Hunten. Ragged Hakama. Sugegasa. Those are uh, samurai clothes. So it's very possible that that's a reference to the dead samurai from the dishwasher games. Which, if you recall my earlier uh, frail remembrances, was also by Ska Studios. Frozen Reliquary. Interesting. Okay. So I think I had to jump over here in order to get this thing. And then I jump on the top of these things. Ow, damn. Maybe? I really don't wanna like, have to deal with reverse falling damage. Well, that was stupid. Plunging damage, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so now we've got here. I would really love for there to be a shortcut. Damn. I don't know if I can get over there. I can't jump through these. Hmm. Weird. Maybe I'm just supposed to head back, but I feel like there's more. I could definitely have more over here.
Okay, so that I've seen. Oops. Okay, catch myself. The problem is that this is such a high jump that I don't know if I can get up here. Hmm. I also don't know if I can get over there either. Oh, I guess I can. Shouldn't have worried about a thing. Okay, so now I'm over here. Oh, there's another thing as well. Okay. Get a shield. Usually a pretty good shield. This is like primo double jump positioning here. Huh. Yeah, I don't know where to go. Because this feels like it should be a... Uh, like an area that I'm in, that I'm doing. But maybe I need more than one thing. And this led to nothing out here. Well, I did explore at the very least, so maybe I should just take more tries against the boss. Um, but until then, uh, that'll be next episode at the very least. Uh, I might explore some more, but I have an Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, and I had a good time. I hope you did too. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.